a land of true beauty. From the blue ocean and the reef, to the rainforest and the valleys. I live in paradise. But paradise doesn't last forever. We're at a time like no other in the history of man. We are faced with our own possible extinction, caused by ourselves. We've gone through uh, fires in the rainforest in Yungo, which is just, it's never happened before. We've had mass flood events. Um, you know, you walk outside now and you can feel just how muggy and hot, just so temperatures are. It's open. Um, you, you can't dismiss something like that when a whole community burns down, a whole half the state burns, when you lose your house, you know? And it takes those sort of personal impacts to go, hey, look, there's a, there's a bigger picture thing going on. When you've got pretty much every single ex fire chief telling you months and months in advance that this is what's going to happen and it's being driven by climate change and with global warming, the writing's on the wall. In the summer of 2019, 206 temperature records were broken in just 90 days. 12 million hectares of land has been burned. 25 people and an estimated 48 million animals in New South Wales alone have been killed. with Sunday Islands, the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef and home to the iconic Whitehaven Beach. A unique ecosystem which is suffering dramatically from the impact of human-induced global warming. So we get a lot of coral bleaching um, and that is because the water temperature is changing so dramatically over such a short period of time. You're getting a lot more of it over summer when we're getting those uh, dramatic changes and shifting because of the wet season. Turtles starting to lay eggs on Whitehead Beach which isn't so common because the silica content is not changing temperature like other beaches. If you accept the science, um, accept that the you know, we're solution based rather than you know just pointing out the problems that um, you know we can we can have a future that's viable, that's long term, that's happy and healthy. This is my message to the United Nations and the Australian government. Change needs to be implemented now to reduce our carbon emissions and pollution, support the health and well-being of our communities and to protect the paradise that I call home before it's too late. Yeah,